the normal distribution, uh, what's called the normal probability distribution or the normal curve for short, is widely used in t statistics for comparative purposes and for estimating population parameters and testing statistical hypotheses. So we'll be using the normal curve extensively throughout the rest of the semester and converting raw scores into Z scores and using that information for these purposes. Now, when you have a normal distribution, we also know that the normal distribution has some very well-defined properties. It's unimodal, which means it has one mode. Uh, it is symmetrical, which means that half the cases are above the mean, half are below. And more importantly, a certain percent of the cases will fall within given standard deviations from the mean. So, for example, 68% of the cases will fall within one standard deviation of the mean, and 95% of the cases will fall within two standard deviations of the mean. The idea that 68% of the cases in a normal distribution fall within one standard deviation of the mean is illustrated in this slide in the shaded area. How we find that area, how we find what percent of the cases are are between any given standard deviations from the mean is found by converting raw scores into z scores and then looking at the table of an area under the normal curve which is contained in appendix A. That table also reveals that that 95 percent of the cases of a normal distribution will also be within plus or minus 1.96 standard deviations from the mean or in other words only 5% of the cases on a normal distribution will fall greater than basically two standard deviations from the mean. That idea will be used extensively when we talk about confidence intervals and we talk about hypothesis testing. Finally, if we know uh, a variable is normally distributed, we immediately know from the properties of the normal curve certain other assumptions. For example, as I just mentioned, we know that basically 68% of the cases are within one standard deviation of the mean. We know that 95% of the cases fall within two standard deviations of the mean. 98% of the cases fall within 2.3 standard deviations from the mean. That knowledge is important for statistical inference purposes.